baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Jose Altuve. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases, and this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Left-hand batter waits, and it is 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. And a 3-1 on the way. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Andres Jimenez. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball one, no strike. one -0. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. One and one. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. Well, he's batting leadoff and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Jose Ramirez. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Runner edges away at second. Swing and a high fly ball to left. He's under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Here's the Guardians lineup now. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Here's Josh Naylor. And fouled off. Two outs. In the air, left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Guardians lead one. Now here come the Astros. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Houston. And on the hill in this one, Tanner Bybee. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a 3-1 to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses, and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the home run, to win ball games. Jose Altuve leading things off and takes a strike.
boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. Let's take a look at our lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. Inside, ball one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. On to first. And that quickly, two away. That is third. The seventh field. Jordan Alvarez. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging nope. too. Ball one. Just missed. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That is cool. So, a man aboard, Kyle Tucker, up next for the Astros. That one lifted to left. Nabs it, and that will end the inning. So, the Astros leave one, scoreless after one. Here at Minute Maid Park. Now it's the DH, Will Brennan. The wind of the pitch. Belak, in his third season, he features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a sinker, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. There's a strike. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon. Maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Now fly ball to right center. McCormick makes the catch. One down. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hauls it in for the out. And there are two down. And now it's Esteban Florial. Left field. Cabbage under it. And that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Jeremy Pena getting ready to hit. Pena really thriving with the bat this season here at home. Wind in the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Florial makes a nice running catch. That is it. The catcher. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. And that's in for a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Got 
at him looking. And he did not like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Trey Cabbage, the next to hit, takes ball one. The pitch. Lifted in the air now the left side. That one gets down for a hit. So Jose Abreu now gets a chance with two gone. Batting in. Jose Abreu up to hit. Jose Abreu. that one foul with the go ahead run at first bottom half of inning number two that's in for a strike at 95 and it's nothing in two out to short Arias sends it across the first that takes care of Abreu that's the third out inning over one left for Houston We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Belak back to work. In the air, left field. Cabbage makes the grab on the run. Stepping up for the Guardians, Gabriel Arias. That one inside. Ball one. Just missed. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Diaz drifts towards it. They got it for out number two. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Walked to open the ball game. Just missed. Top of the third, no score. Right through there for a strike. And it's fouled away. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Next <laughs> offering away upstairs. Please and that's down it away. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. The Guardians go down in order. And we're still knotted at zero. As we go to the last of the third. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. The right-hander back to work. And the slider just misses. Turned on, but foul wide of third. That one catches the corner for a strike. Goes down looking. Back to the top of the lineup. We'll say Altuve up to it here. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful. 
Oh, now this one's high and deep. Went back there on its way. Gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one, and they grab the lead. It's one nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat move. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So one out, nobody on. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. One down, base is empty. At and ball. another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Now one missed, now 3-0. and oh. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. That just four, four. missed. Take he walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Number offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. a foul ball part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage and ball one man at first one away next pitch is outside Touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now that, the designated hitter. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's Kyle Tucker. Fly to left his first time. That one is absolutely belted. That's down, run outs off the wall. Coming around third is Alvarez. Now a relay to the plate. Tag, in time, he scores. And they're up by three. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. And that'll fall for a base hit. Here's Tucker on his way to the plate. The throw is offline. He's safe. And it's 4 nothing. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Man at first with one gone. And here's the catcher, Yainer Diaz. He's 0 for 1. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball that 1. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Right down the chute, and it's 1-1. One and one. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us right down the middle doesn't get a swing not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that oh, 
And a ball two. evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. He goes down looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. If he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Bybee keeping an eye on him. Pena off of first with two away. In the air to left center. Quan heads after it. He makes the grab. That is the inning. So four runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On to inning number four. It's the Astros four and the Guardians nothing. And we're back. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Andres Jimenez. The pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That's a strike. 0 and 2. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout, but you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks deals. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, a little problem with this location there, but now the bigger problem's at first base. Tons of speed over there. He's going to have to manage the running game and find the strike zone. Line drive, and that's a fair ball. Jimenez around second, on his way to third. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turned on it nicely for the knock. And now it's Josh Naylor, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First ball offering one, no misses play. badly for ball one. You know, these Guardians just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One away. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy will have to pick him up. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And a good eye there. Here's an opportunity. If you're going to get back in this game, you have to take advantage of this situation. This feels like their chance. Two on, one out. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. That's down and in. Good Three pitchers balls, make pitches no in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, Eight. he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Second and third, one away. Top half of inning number four. Three-one, and he couldn't come up with it. 
Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Now Pretty back. much gifted him first Let's base with a quick free pass. Tyler. Here's Tyler Ooh. Freeman to hit. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. First pitch misses. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Base is loaded, one away. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Tying run at the plate. That to right. McCormick on the run. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. I understand the base is loaded. Start licking your chops thinking you can hit a four bagger, but really have to be disciplined and not let the pitcher off the hook. And up next for Cleveland, Esteban Florial. Aye. For a strike, it's 0-1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Ball one there. Oh, he gloves it. Generally, not the type of great play you expect from a first baseman, but he does a great job of hauling that one down. Back here in Houston, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jose Abreu. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Astros doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Close one doesn't get the call. And the count even one and one. And another ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count's full. Fly ball to right. Florial snags it for the second out. Now that second baseman, Jose Here's a former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's already homered in this game. That one missed. Counts one and zero. Just missed. Two out, space is empty. Late on that fastball. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And the curve is down and in.
They say you win. You got a full count. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Altuve, round second on his way to third. Coming home. The relay. He will score. It's 5 nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. And if you can rip one into that open space, it usually means extra bases. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Logan Allen. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Man in scoring position with two away. And now the center fielder, Jordan Alvarez. Ball Just one. missed. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Chop back up the middle. Fires to first on the run. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. And the lead is now 5-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth, and now Bo Naylor. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Line drive, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The bat, number 13. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Brooks. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long Gabriel Arias now at the plate he popped out his first time and it stays fair throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out two consecutive base hits for these guys here he really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul one thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it now Stephen Kwan that's in there 0-1 you know, these Guardians looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Misses Ball, off the down. inside, and now it's even one and one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And in one hops the wall. One run across around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's 5-2. He was all over that one. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Oh, 
Oh, and the first girl. pitch misses for ball one. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Man at second. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now it's Jose Ramirez. One for two. So now the heart throwing left hander Josh Hader on the hill and when you look at the start of Hader's career pretty incredible arguably one of the top beginnings to a career for any reliever in history the Astros trying to close out a three run lead and we're at the top of the fifth just off the outside edge and now two and oh. Hater throw over. Quan dives back in safely. Hater at times can have some trouble with command, but it's that fastball slider combo that is so impressive. 2 0. Fouled off left side. Two and one now. And downstairs. And the 3 1. Top of the zone for a called strike. Quan over at second, one down. Three balls, two strikes to count. This to center field, Alvarez. Sizing this one up, he's got it, and there's two away. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the four hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. That's inside. inside. Two outs and one in scoring position. Fastball for a strike. And a count even at one. They're down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes. The Guardians down to their final strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is the ball game. Milad with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.